That fence should have been 50 feet high, not six feet. Well, that was yesterday. Today's Wednesday. Hey, did you hear that Rush Limbaugh just signed a contract with Clear Channel for something north of four hundred million dollars? Four hundred million. Now that's thirty-eight million a year, plus what I read to be a nine-figure bonus. Now, for those of you out there just getting started in math, six figures is one hundred thousand to nine hundred thousand, and then of course seven figures is one million and up, and then eight figures is 10 million and up nine figures is over 100 million that's the bonus that is incredibly sick I hate Rush Limbaugh look I'm a Democrat I'm a liberal I'm pro Obama I volunteered for the Obama campaign for over 17 months now Rush Limbaugh is the person that we target as the opposition and rightly so now look, I, I like what Rush does, but um, I don't like quite what Rush does with his cigar. Now, what do I mean? Well, let me show you this. Give me a moment here. Watch this. This is Rush Limbaugh with his famous cigar. Now, folks, I like cigars. I smoke cigars. But don't ever, ever let yourself be photographed smoking a cigar like this. Why? Because it looks like you're giving some guy a blowjob, all right? Now that's from a straight guy's perspective. It looks absolutely ridiculous. Now Rush has also decided to name his phone call screener James Gold Bo Snerdly, I believe his name is, and give him the title of official Obama criticizer. This is the guy all right now in my opinion he bears a great resemblance to none other than of course fat bastard he also take another look makes me think of none other than of course poppin fresh the Pillsbury Doughboy look it's absolutely ridiculous Rush takes a black guy that's working for him and says, you know what, I'm going to pay you a good amount of money to be my official Obama criticizer. And this guy says, oh yeah, cool, I'll do it. Oh, brother. In the course of what he's doing, he's going to help Obama win because, of course, no one's going to take a person who looks like that seriously. Uh, now, when I think of Rush Limbaugh, I think of my dear friend, Michelle Sixta. Why? Because Michelle also happened to be Russia's second wife. I met Michelle when she lived on Madison, just on the other side of Lake Merritt in Oakland from me. And we hit it off, became great friends. Michelle introduced me to backyard bird watching, to which I found out, among other things, that there are 2,000 Canadian geese around Lake Merritt. But that's an, another story for another time. When Michelle would talk about Rush, which was seldom, she said that the first six years of their marriage well, of the six years of their marriage, the first portion of it, the first three were great, but as Rush became Rush, he became less interested in sex and ballooned to 300 pounds. It got to the point where he would rather read a book than have sex with her, and Michelle is a gorgeous woman. So, if you're wondering how a person like Rush gets to be able to sign a contract that's $400 million in size, just remember that there's always someone like a Michelle Sixta in the background who was there to suffer while that person became the personality that they are today. That's not always true, but in his specific case, it was. I just hope that, I haven't seen Michelle in some time, and I wish her well, I think she's, I don't know if she's remarried or what have, have you, but I would hope that she is at least getting part of that 400 million. In the meantime, if you're Rush Limbaugh, don't ever, ever, ever be photographed smoking a cigar like that again in your entire life.